Oh my god, it feels so good to be back on the bike again. It's been well over a week. This weather has been nasty out here. I don't care who you are. If it's 26 degrees and raining, it's just miserable. It's not fun to ride in that. And if you have the option not to, you won't. That's why my posting has been so delayed. I don't feel like I've been posting as much as I normally am or uploading. Just haven't been on the bike. And not to mention my professional life, I guess you could say. My work life has been very overwhelming lately. So it's been hard to get any time. Dude, you've got like four miles before you can actually stop. Why are you going so slow? Oh, this other bad thing. My visor won't close all the way because of my strap on my GoPro. So now whenever I'm moving and it's cold, I start crying like a little bitch. Probably shouldn't haul ass under bridges where it's potentially frozen still. Not a good plan. So cars have been getting smarter and smarter lately, I guess you could call it. Quite literally, your car will stop you before you run into the back of someone. It'll keep you in your lane. You almost don't have to drive anymore. You kind of just sit back and play with your diddly hoos and whatnot instead of having to drive, which is the problem. The problem is people not paying attention and this is kind of taking the, oh, people aren't paying attention while we're gonna drive for them instead of making people pay attention, which is gonna make it so eventually we're no longer gonna be driving cars. Cars will be driving us. What? But I have an idea. Holy shit balls. Oh! Okay, I, I was fine in there, fine and dandy until the wind. It was like, it's like 34 right now, but when the wind comes on you, oh, holy ball sack, Batman. Go, go, bitch. Weren't we stuck behind another one of your friends? My idea is if you take those same sensors, right? You know, the technology is already here. You, the sensors that are in the front of your car that can read the traffic and what what have you and have them read signs. And now instead of the car actually taking any action, the car will actually tell you to take an action. So, let's take an example here. A lot of the times people will get into a lane and they'll pass four or five signs that say, right lane ends, merge left. A normal individual who's paying attention would say, oh, this lane ends, I should probably look for a gap. But a person who isn't paying attention just sits next to the car that they're next to and kind of freaks out when their lane disappears. So this system would notice that. So all of a sudden you'll hear a voice come on, hey, shit for brains, your lane's ending. That'll get your attention real quick and then it'll make you pay attention. You're like, oh, oh the lady's yelling at me again, I should probably do something, you know? Instead of the car actually doing anything. That's a cheap system. Now the same system, let's say you're sitting in the left lane, which is left lane for passing only, and uh, you're not really passing anyone, you're holding up traffic. And that system will know, okay, there's a bunch of people behind you, it'll know the speed limit, and it'll know you're going slower than that, and you've been next to someone. So the system will come on and say, hey, Fort Canal, get out of the left lane, you're not passing, and then it makes you pay attention. It makes you drop your phone, or drop your makeup, and go, oh, damn, the lady's yelling at me. You know, nice and scary. It has to use the adjectives. The adjectives are required. You know, if, if your car's calling you shit for brains, it'll definitely catch your attention and you can't turn it off, you know? I think that'll make you, more people pay attention than anything. No, you know, if you're going too slow, they don't want to startle you. So, you know, actually what they want to do is, is kind of ease you into it, you know, to start with the bing. I'm sorry to interrupt your vinyl record you have sitting on the side of the passenger seat, but you are currently going 20 under the speed limit, which is illegal. I recommend you pull your head out of your ass and, and drive appropriately. And that would work too. Or if someone's sitting there on their cell phone, which is illegal now, thank God, the system will just start screaming and yelling at you or something. Let's see, what'll happen? What'll happen if you're on your cell phone? Oh, I know. The voice will come on and repeatedly over and over and over do that, that line from Dumb and Dumber. The, hey, you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? You know, over as loud as you can. You can't shut it off. You can't pause it. You can't hear your phone conversation. I bet you, I bet you if that happened every time someone was on their phone for more than like 30 seconds in the car, <laughs> it'll get you off the damn phone. I don't know. I just like the idea of cars calling people a, a fuck trumpet or a dick kebab or a flap challenger. I don't know. I ran out of ideas a long time ago. You know, a good one that they already have though is that blind spot detection 
monitor that you know it just puts a little thing up on the mirror and bings at you when something's in your blind spot and you're trying to change lanes i think that was a genius genius idea because cars are getting like the pillars and everything are getting bigger and bigger for the airbags and all the safety features and everything which is great but you can't see out of them like i can't see shit out of my wife's prius oh my god i'm shivering but that little sensor it's kind of nice it's great for motorcyclists because it means you won't get killed next to somebody like that. Well, I wouldn't say won't, but you have a, a slimmer chance of dying. Oh my god. We're in the vortex of Round Rock where wind just starts whipping like crazy. So we're going to go ahead and slow down and uh, try not to die and freeze to death. Feels good to be on the bike, but man. It'll feel a whole lot better when the snot unfreezes from my nose. It looks warm. I'll tell you, it looks warm because the sun's out. It is not. I'm not kidding you. It is 30, low 30s, low to mid 30s with a 20 mile per hour wind. It is not warm, I promise. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is the last bit of cold weather we're going to get and it's going to be nice for a few minutes. So I'm back. I'm glad to be back. I'm going to hopefully return to my normal posting schedule as long as work doesn't start interrupting again. But we'll get back to normal fry riding. I'm excited for that shit. Yeah, why don't you wait till I finish taking my turn before you start turning into me, Farquaad. Well, I hope you guys had a great week. And I hope you all aren't freezing to death either. And I'll talk to you later. Peace! <laughs>